Yo, it's your boy Budro, you know that. And if you've been here before, what's happening? If this your first time, what up, though? And we got some news, a little update from my last video, the previous one. I thought that they weren't going to do crossplay console to console, but apparently there has been a Forbes article that says that there will be console to console to PC crossplay in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare game. So I'm glad to say that I am wrong. Like I truly am. Like I said in the video yesterday, I hope that I was wrong. I'm glad that I'm wrong because I do. Us PlayStation users want to go ahead and show you Xbox users why y'all trash. Why all the sweats is on PlayStation. And of course, what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to just read through the article. Break it down real quick. I'm going to read through everything with well, most of it. Try to and just see what they got to say about it. This is my first time reading it, but there is some extra information in it. Um, but one thing is it will not have zombies. Now, I'm disappointed about that because I do like zombies, but not the new age zombies. I don't want to be doing Easter eggs and all this stuff. I just want to be back in the Black Ops 1 zombies. Just here's the map. Survive as long as you can. There's a box and just run around and survive. I don't want to do all this other extra stuff they're doing now, but no zombies is confirmed. We'll be co-op play. Just no zombies, but there is cross play. So that's what's up. Um, it is by Paul Tassi. Hope I'm saying his name right. A senior contributor over at Forbes and it is titled Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Cross play is a damn breaking movement for the industry. Um, it goes on to say yesterday came the announcement of Call of Duty and the previous leak Modern Warfare without any numbers attached to it, a kind of reboot of the original subseries. It had a good trailer, that is true. It is going back to basics in quotation marks and it has Captain Price. Cool, I suppose, is what he says. But the real news is not about the meat of the game, but rather specific Activision moves surrounding it. First, this will be the first Call of Duty not to have a season pass in ages. Keeping the player base together is more easily. Second, in the spirit of fully keeping the player base together, Modern Warfare will have true crossplay between Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. No strings attached. So that is what we have all been wanting, and we have finally got it. Yes! 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 Uh, it also goes on to say. While slowly more and more games have been acquiring or launching with crossplay as of late, this is a seismic shift the industry has rarely seen. As it is coming from the best selling series of the year every year, and it feels like a damn breaking movement for the entire industry, which now seems poised to make crossplay standard across all new releases by the time this next console generation arrives. So crossplay is going to be standard by the time the Xbox X comes out and the PlayStation 5 comes out. So we just going to be mished together in every game to here on out other than the exclusive titles of course that go with each. That's dope. So all the good games, all the big games that everyone wants to play together that, you know, the debate is I got an Xbox, you need to get an Xbox or I got a PlayStation, you need to get a PlayStation. It'll be those games we can all play together. So Madden, all the sports games, FIFA, NBA, 2K, Call of Duty, Fortnite, everything's getting ready to be cross-play, cross-platform, cross-play, all together. We're going to be meshing. So the game industry is getting ready to take off. I already know that. Um, back, to the, back to the article. It says, Fortnite was the first major domino in many ways, but with Fortnite, you had a game that could also run on Switch and even mobile. And as such, keeping the entire community together seemed like more of a priority with so many splintered platforms. Epic leaned on Sony, the lone holdout with its console install base lead, and eventually forced them to give up their join and after something that was more or less shame campaign to get them to do so. So basically they shame campaigned them. They probably also threw them a couple extra bucks underneath the table. You know, they was probably like, look, PlayStation, we know you do not want crossplay. Which, like I said in my last video, there are some reasons why that explain why Sony wouldn't want crossplay. It was going to help their uh, PlayStation be sold if it wasn't. Uh, but 
Epic Games came out with Fortnite and was like, look, we need crossplay to happen. So here's this up under the table. And we also gonna bash you in the media saying that you didn't want it. You were the only person that didn't want it. Only only uh, console that didn't want crossplay. So it'll just make you look bad. So eventually they caved in on Fortnite and they have crossplay on Fortnite. So Call of Duty is straight up launching with crossplay, Sony included. And there is no mobile or Switch version here, only the core systems of Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. And whatever they threw at Sony to make it happen clearly worked. Obviously, it was a bag of cash. Um, what else would it be? It wouldn't be anything else but a big old fat stack. Uh, article goes on to say, it also creates the expectation that going forward, any major third-party console releases has no reason not to have full cross-play at launch as well makes sense um, it says crossplay makes sense for many reasons it will help out struggling smaller PC communities who are now able to play with their console brethren Fortnite style input matchmaking so you will only be able to play with console if you're on PC if you're if someone on console puts you in their party you won't be able to just hop into a console lobby if you're on PC um, which that's good that's what the that's what we we're all worried about um, Article says it will help to avoid PC players stomping everyone as it is a common concern. That it is. Uh, you match with other players with your style of input, controller or mouse and keyboard, and only go out of your league if you're party with a PC friend on console, which will give you mainly PC games. So like I said, you won't be able to match up against PC players if you're on console unless you have a PC player in your lobby. Uh, it says for third party games, it removes the problem of buying a system just because your friends all have it. That was Sony's only rationale against it, despite the nonsense excuses they gave publicly. And we are heading into an era where dividing up the industry into these tiny little boxes and communities does not make much sense. Soon, we'll not only have mobile, console, and PC, but we'll also see the attempt rise of games streaming in earnest which will put games on pretty much every device imaginable xbox alone is already releasing as many games as it can on pc and console at the same time so crossplay is instantly standard for those titles with this push from microsoft nintendo going forward the flow and pc not actually being a real entity with thoughts or opinions sony does not have a choice but to follow and follow they are clearly so we in there. I saw it from a business perspective of why Sony wouldn't want crossplay. I understand that. Um, but apparently they're just like, skip it. If everybody wants to play, we'll let y'all play. But I'm sure there's probably some stipulations. They probably have something written in contract like 1% or 2% or 0.5% of every sales has to go to Sony if they're playing crossplay or something like that. You know, some nonsense to get the money back. Because if their sales drop, I mean, it just doesn't make sense for them to go into crossplay. So they're probably trying to combat that somehow, some type of way, obviously, is monetary value. So who knows? But anyways, we cross playing. The article goes on to say the community circle I've traveled in the most is Destiny. And those fans are taking the Modern Warfare announcement as more or less a guarantee that at long last crossplay will come to their game as well. Um, Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. We'll skip through that. It goes down to say, but it's all in the same boat. Previously, it is clear that Bungie wanted to make things happen too, but the obstacle in the way was Sony, as ever. But now, Bungie and any other interested studio can point to Call of Duty and go, well, you're doing it with them, why not us? And Sony won't be able to trout out even the lamest of excuses that make sense at this point. The fact that they were ever pretending to be concerned about the player experience outside of the PlayStation Network should go down as one of the biggest bits of corporation BS in gaming history. I don't know about that, but I see where he's coming from. There will still be reasons to buy one console over another or choose PC over console. Exclusivities, like I said, power, comfort, and so on but being forced into getting a system from peer pressure via your friends or global sales has never felt good. Um, <laughs> I rock with PlayStation, so it feels good to me to know we on top. I don't know what you talking about, Paul. But he goes on to say, and this part of the industry dying feels like no great loss to anyone, but apparently Sony. And even though they have to see the light at this point, 
with this generation ending and a new one starting, there is no guarantee that the PS5 maintains this 2 to 1 sales lead over Xbox or that streaming services start posing a real threat to them. So the advantages of crossplay may actually help them down the road more than they realize. As of Call of Duty goes, so goes the industry. Mark my words, he goes on to say. But like I said, main thing is what I read in the second paragraph is that there will be crossplay, crossplay, crossplay from Xbox One to PS4 to PC. No strings attached. Attached. I'm sorry, but it would be funny if the PS5 came out and the Xbox Two came out. And they were like, nah, we ain't got cross-play on this generation. It's only on last gen. That would be some stuff. But, I don't know. I'm happy. I'd like to see cross-play in one of my favorite titles. You know, going forward in some of my favorite games. I understand it as a business point from Sony as to why they wouldn't want it. Because if they're a 2 to 1 lead over Xbox, I don't know if they'll keep that lead now. Because for some reason people think Xbox is good. I don't know why. But PlayStation clearly is better. Um... When we about to show y'all that come October when y'all playing with these big old bulky controllers y'all got on Xbox and we got these nice smooth sleek controllers over here on PlayStation murking y'all in this Call of Duty man what y'all on do hey what y'all trying to do man I'm trying to get it popping I'm ready for October to be here the game looks good we got crossplay that only leads it to be there has to be a catch. So there has to be a catch now. Like, what is the catch? What is going on with this Call of Duty game? Because it's it's breaking down Sony's barriers of crossplay. It's looking good on a new engine, quote unquote, new engine, same engine, new engine, new upgrades, whatever it is, an upgraded engine. And the game just looks fine. Like, we like modern shooters. It's a modern shooter. They don't have zombies, but they got co-op, so that's cool. But there just has to be a catch. Like every this is this is too good. Too good to be true. Only time will tell. I'm sure it'll be something. I hope it's not, but I'm sure it will be because we're getting too much good news in the beginning. Hopefully they try and flood us with all this good news and then the bad news comes and it's not as bad as they think it's gonna be, so it's really not that bad. But that's my my thought is that they're flooding us with all this good news. And then the bad news is going to come later, and then they're just going to try to point to the good news they pointed out, hoping that the good news outweighs the bad news, when real in actuality, the bad news is probably super, super bad. That's why I waited so like to tell us, but I don't know. I hope not. Uh, like I say, I hope everything goes great. I hope this is the greatest Call of Duty they've ever put out. I hope everything goes smooth. I hope the crossplay isn't laggy. I hope everything's fire. I hope we smashing y'all people on Xbox. I hope everything goes great, but I'm hype. I uh, hope y'all hype. I hope y'all ready to cop this new Call of Duty because I'm, I'm ready to cop it right now. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to get on it. I'm ready to smack some fools in the new Call of Duty because Black Ops 3, you know, your boy's out here. I'm running stuff. This is like being LeBron. It's, it's all right. Merking everybody, but, you know, sometimes I need a little challenge. I need a little bit of challenge. So, we'll see. We'll see. But... Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Drop your boy a like. Drop your comments down below. What do you think? Is this a good thing? Is this a great thing? Are you all excited? What's going on? What's going through your head? Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Budro. You know that. Have a nice day. Okay, shorty, 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 ok